Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel and if you're new here, my name is Brandon. And my name is Heidi and we're here with a new video for you. So today we are going to Dancing with the Stars, the live show that they tour around. Yes! Really excited. This is a day that we wait for. Well, I do. I don't know if you do. We did it last year for the first time. This is our second time, but yeah. we lately have become big Dancing with the Stars fans. I would say Heidi way more so than me, but I like to think that I'm like a pretty big watch, fan. I bro. watch every week. I know all the dancers. Yep. Um, last year, the live show was so good. We loved and it. And so much fun. We last year saw it at Casino Rama, which is in Aurelia, Ontario. Okay. And this year we're in Kitchener. And we're going to see it at the center in the square, which yeah. is fun. So if you're Canadian watching this or like American, um, maybe you're interested in, in seeing this live tour that goes across like North America. Very fun. But we're getting coffee. Yes. First. That's the first stop. We're going to do a little like a daily vlog here of this whole day, mm -hmm. which will be fun. We're going to hit some shops, check out some like local things, go to the mall maybe. Yeah. We've never. Get some dinner. We've never like really been here. No. Like in Kitchener Waterloo area. No. I have for like running in the past, but it was just like for the actual competition. So yeah. we're going to see what fun stuff we can find to do. But first we need a coffee, like I said, to yes. start the day. So Heidi's going to go get those coffees from some place called Smiling Tiger Coffee. Coffee roasters. Which is cool. Yeah. So Heidi's going to take you in there because and show as much as she can. We're parked in a private property area that says authorized parking home. So we can't leave the vehicle. <laughs> so I'm staying in the vehicle. So we can move. It. It's not, I don't it's really know private. why it says that. It's, it's, it's via, via rail. rail, like the train station. It's not private. It's but fine. you have to pay to park, but I'm just going to sit here. Yeah. So Anyhow, it's fine. Don't judge. You'll see the coffee in a minute. Got the goods. Woohoo. This is what I got. It was kind of a struggle being by myself in there because I had to like grab everything. But mm. that's yours. It's uh, iced mocha. As Which is my favorite thing. And Ice this, mocha or like a cold brew type of thing. Yes, this is an iced vanilla latte, which is like the only thing that I mm. ever get from anywhere. It, it was really nice in there. There's like a lot of seating. I kind of like tried to film a little bit. Yeah. A lot of seating. Like it'd be like a good area for like just coming and studying and stuff. Yeah, one of our things that I think that we kind of collectively like is like a local coffee shop. Mm. We we try to try. We're trying to do better. We're trying to do better at locally. Because we usually we're like a Tim, Tim Hortons person. But yeah. it's fun when you go like to different areas to see like what they have and stuff. Mm, it's really good. I like it. I love a nice mocha. Mm. But I see you got a box. I bought a box. Which is a Brandon, treat. Yeah, Brandon said to get a treat. So they had a, some different baked goods. I picked this one. I don't really know if you like like this kind of stuff. <laughs> so hopefully I did okay, but it looked really good. It's a carrot cake. I love carrot cake. You do? Yeah, what a good option. Cream okay. cheese icing is so I good. I know. I picked it because of the icing. Look at that. Such and that seems fire. like a good, like it's it's one o'clock. Yeah. Like to me, it feels like a breakfast time right now. <laughs> yeah. No. it's not, but I feel like that carrot cake could be potentially a good breakfasty okay flavored item you try it first all right here we go is it yummy mm -hmm. the icing looks good mm -hmm. that's why i picked it the icing is good i love a carrot cake can i try it very good choice okay good yeah and again not like a heavy thing no i it's thought it was just like something something little mm -hmm. to try mm. nice so good. what a good way to start our time in in kitchener before the show so now we're gonna Go check out the mall that's in Waterloo and just kind of browse around and then maybe try to find some thrift stores, mm -hmm. whether it is just like a value village or anything, but we have been into that. Mm -hmm. We like going. Like lately, but even like last year, but we're, we're trying going. to like do that more this year. Go to thrift places or like local places, you know? Yeah. I feel like I got you into it. Cause, For sure. Cause, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun to like see what you can find and hidden gems i always want to just find like a disney like something cool that's like in my size which will very rarely never happen but just like an older Maybe vintage thing yeah. you know and we also love looking for future baby clothes so we're gonna head to the mall mm -hmm. and we'll take you along with us but great choice on the carrot cake and cheers for the coffee we have so many jelly cats here look what i just found i've always wanted the egg but i haven't seen this one it has glasses and shoes and then we also found this little ducky and Brandon has a gift card from someone at his uh, place of work <laughs> like a <laughs> what is it called 
a parent because he works with kids for like Christmas or something. So he said I could get a jelly cat with it. And now I have to figure out which jelly cat I want because they have so many good ones here. Like, look at all of them. Wow. This one. That's what I said, the bear in the house coat. So what do you got there? Three of them. Can we get all of them? So we just went to the mall. It was pretty good mall. It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we didn't buy really too much. We bought one thing, which Heidi will show, but it was really good. It's always fun just to go browse at the mall, even if it's like the same kind of stores. I bought this fellow. Eggie boy. Yeah, did we we filmed in there a little bit. We did, and we, we talked about the different options that you had. It was down to Ducky, Bear, Bear and Eggie Egg boy. boy, and we posted a poll on our instagram story maybe i can leave the results and yeah. i think that potentially you went against the grain i know sorry because you really did want this one but i really then... wanted an egg and then i really liked how this egg had glasses and yeah. i never like see the egg no and this... then ducky and bear was kind of a random find of like oh yeah, they're cute they're cute too but eggy boy um, you wanted yeah because what was i gonna say yeah this one had a lot of jelly cats like this store mm -hmm. sometimes indigo doesn't have a lot of them so. and we were like waiting because i had a gift card like heidi said for indigo mm -hmm. and we wanted to use it on a jelly cat so it's yeah. perfect and now we're going to some vintage not vintage necessarily thrift stores locally yeah local ones like smaller ones yes here in waterloo uh the first one is what did we say the lost vessel the lost vessel luster and oak is the other one and then we're gonna go check store. out um orange monkey music which is yeah. like a record store. So they're all kind of in this area. It's like sort of by like the, the university universities. area, which is fun. So we'll see if we find anything cool. And of course we'll try to film inside, but hoping for some Disney, some Disney stuff would be so great. Whoa, this is so cool. I'm scared. Whoa, we have to take an elevator upstairs. Oh. Wild. This is crazy. I'm scared. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit later and we went to those thrift stores and the record store. The one thrift store that was like Lost Vessel was, really was cool. so cool. It is honestly, I think, one of the best like surprise experiences, surprise experiences. that I've ever had. <laughs> because it was just like you walked in. Yes, it was in some like cinema and you opened the doors and then it said like vintage this way use the lift and i was like that's weird and then you like walk in and it was that room that we showed with like all of the vhs movies and there was with an elevator the, yeah with the elevator the elevator was playing music and had like and it was like welcome to the lost vessel it was just like really cool. cool we obviously didn't pick anything up at either of the stores or the record store but it was cool to see all of like the fun stuff there was one disney shirt that we saw well there was a few disney shirts yeah and we oh, debated true. the one but then we yeah. were like nah but now we are hungry and the show so hungry. is in like three ish hours. So we're going to uh, go for dinner at Kelsey's because mm -hmm. we have a gift card, which is fun to make use of that gift card. And Kelsey's is that like in America or other places? Oh, yeah. Potentially, totally. it's basically just like a burger well, sort of place. Mostly, no, right? Yeah. They have other food. Well, yeah, it's just like a regular restaurant. Regular that restaurant. Has, like everything. <laughs> It's but they have a burgers. really good spinach dip. Yeah, we like the spinach dip. Um, so we'll get that for sure. Yes, I'm saying that it's a burger place because that's what I always get, yeah, but it's not a burger it has, place. No, it's not. Um, it's a roadhouse is what it says on the sign. So we're mm -hmm. going to head inside. We'll bring the phone into film and show you the stuff that we get. But we're so hungry. It's going to be so delicious. All right. What do we get, Brandon? A delicious, beautiful spinach dip with fried pita, which they're probably roasting and I'm going to burn my hand. But they look like this. They are hot. <laughs> Delicious. Heidi's gonna try it because I'm gonna burn my mouth. Yeah. I'm a baby. It's so good. I don't know why. And it's, it's burning. burning. <laughs> but it's so good. All right, spinach dip gone and devoured. So good. Literally could eat like, like we were just like saying, how many of those could we eat like together? At least four. 
of those <laughs> servings. It's so good. But we got our burgers here. I got the loaded burger, which has queso, jalapenos, uh, crispy onions, mayo, lettuce, two patties, and bacon. And then I got it with kettle chips and then the Cajun spiced aioli dipper. And then Heidi got the mushroom melter, which has like mushrooms, crispy onions, Swiss cheese, lettuce, lettuce, some all that kind of stuff. sauce. And then fries with a pesto mayo. Yeah. Which is cool. So should I get a little, maybe I'll do a kettle chip. Do a kettle chip. Because right? I won't do a whole burger bite on camera. Very good. Heidi's going for a burger bite. Mm. <laughs> How is it good? Mm -hmm. So we're back in the car and like excuse our little makeshift lighting. We, we got the foam propped up and the camera set up because we are at Talese right now. We just actually went in, we finished our dinner. It was great and so awesome. And we didn't get to film in Talese because it was like pretty busy, lots going on. But we did want to show you the finds that we got and it is all future baby clothes, which is a thing that we used to do a little bit more often mm -hmm. and haven't like in a long time. So we're going to show you the quick little haul here of all of the stuff. Okay, so the first thing that we got, we're starting off strong, is this Harley Davidson. It says Harley Davidson Motorcycles, and it's like the actual brand. Um, they're little like overalls. They're so cute. They're um, cute. I'll kind of show you up close. That's what they look like up front. And then you have like the little scrunchies on the bottom. And typically we try to avoid getting like newborn stuff. And this yeah. is like a zero three months. But we figured like even if our baby doesn't fit in this, just because like we're huge people, so we never know. How big our baby's gonna be? Um, someone's baby's gonna love this. Yeah. So we had to get it, like one of our family members. It's or something just in the cool. Future. Next up, we have this cute little. It's like a one piece, right? Yeah. A little one piece Minnie Mouse. Look at how cute that is. There's the print on there. It has like little like frillies oh, almost on the sleeves, and then little shorts. And it's a Disney baby. This one's for six months, but um, I just think that it's so cute. So we have to get this one. Up next, we have this thing that I absolutely love. Am I holding it the right way? No, I'm not. It looks like this. It's hard to kind of capture, but it is like one of those like little snow things that you put on top. Yeah, it's got um, like some snowflakes on there. Cool little pattern. Yeah, but it gives like Patagonia to me, but like yeah. it's not. It's um, not a Patagonia brand. The, we don't really know the brand. The brand says Gemini. Oh, it says made in Canada. There you go. Oh, so that Look means it's that. pretty good probably. Very cool. Um, This one's for six months, but I just thought this is like so my vibe. So we had to get it. It has like the feet cover, hand cover, and the little hoodie. Next up is something maybe that's not like the most cute thing, but it's still pretty cute. And we got it because it is from a place that maybe in our lifetime we'll get to go hopefully. Um, and it's an overseas Disney park and it's from Hong Kong Disneyland. And the tag literally says yeah, Hong Kong Disneyland it. baby, which is so cool. There's the little tag on there, there which might be kind of hard to see. Hong Kong Disneyland baby. So, so cool. And it's just a little Winnie the Pooh. I think it's cute. Onesie. It's, it's pretty not cute. It's ugly. No, and it says on it, Hong Kong Disneyland. It's got Tigger and Piglet, yeah, and it's, it's yellow. Cute. You can see them there. It's adorable. I and think that it's cute. It's got the little, like, scrunchy, scrunchy yeah. bottoms. But what I saw it. It's, um, it says three months, but it seems pretty I don't big. Think that's what, but that's just the tag that they put. The tag put that on they it. put. This yeah, doesn't it's definitely say. Definitely not three months. Um, but I think it's cool because I saw that it said Hong Kong Disneyland here on, like, the front. And I was like, is this true? And then I saw that official tag and I was like, wow, have to get it. it. Just cause it's like the cool factor of like finding something from overseas. And then we got a little Ralph Lauren, Ralph Ro Loren. Loren. I don't know how you Either say it. Either one. You're bougie. Maybe you say Loren. And it's got the little, is that an embroidered bear? Oh yeah, it's yeah, a little, little embroidered bear. bear. Um, so little it's a hoodie. little zip up hoodie. This one is what size? 12 months. So I love it. So cute. A good little haul. Yeah. And everything was like, three something yeah it cost us less. 16 dollars with there's like a student discount for 10 percent off i think yeah. which is good so we're gonna head so now great. to the venue but this kind of like i think brought us back to life a bit after dinner we were pretty oh tired my goodness. So, i'm so full still but it was so we're gonna head to the venue and i don't know how much that we can film in there we're gonna try our best we're gonna bring our phone in and film yeah um which will be so fun and we can't wait to see some dances Got a sweater. Yeah, yeah. So exciting. Look at that. Very fun. And we're up in the balcony. We'll show the seats. But we're excited. It's a really cool venue. Yeah, it's really cool. It's our first time here. So here we are. Here's the seats up here. I think it's a really good view. We're right in the middle. Up in the balcony. 
Love it. Good pick, Heidi. Thank you. It was the cheapest option. <laughs> so many talented people and so I'd only imagine like what that'd be like so it was very special for me and I got so nervous all of a sudden and I looked over because it's taking longer than usual back so for you I know you're an amazing performer what is the biggest difference between performing on Dancing with the Stars the TV show and then getting out here to perform at the Dancing with the Stars live tour 
First of all, I appreciate anybody willing to take their time and watch me do my thing outside of my mom. <laughs> and I love, obviously, Dancing with the Stars, a television show. It gave me a chance to connect with so many people. But there's nothing like standing here live on this stage performing for this rowdy Canadian crowd. <laughs> I've done a lot of tours. I know I've done a lot of tours because of the meeting greet earlier. This wonderful young lady ran up, she's like, hey, look at this picture, it's me and you in sixth grade, and now I got into grad school. <laughs> so conflicted, congratulations. but swift exit, let's do our right leg forward, paso press, and then elbows back. It's like you've got watermelons right here, watermelons. And then you go, paso, drag, 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 <laughs> turn, ole, and music please. That was when I ruled the world. different interpretation. She's a huge Taylor Swift fan. I'm like a casual fan, bro. But I can't be the only one, right? Like, how many of you guys are Swifty? Woo! See, I'm not alone. Sir, I'm, I'm shocked that you're enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm currently in my Dancing with the Stars tour era, and I'm not sure if you know how the era's thing works. I do. Oh. So what era are you in then, though? I'm my... I'm on my... Sexy dad era, probably. Well done, dance scientists. Excellent work. Now, somebody here tell me, what are the elements that make the perfect dance? Character. Yes, Brick. Character. Well done. It's the root of every story and it gives the audience something to relate to. Creativity. Yes, creativity. Great. It's the X factor, the je ne sais quoi, and it's the gateway for the perfect ten. Emotion. I say we test our hypothesis. First up, character. Mm. Let me think. Alan, you're the bartender. Alexis, you're the cigarette girl. Brandon, you're the gangster. Riley, you're gonna be the flapper. Pasha, you're the ooh, mechanic. No, no, no. You're the uh, ooh. You're the, the nerd. You're the nerd. You're gonna be great. We get into character. Brit, you're the aristocrat. Glenn, you're the gambler. Val, you're the guy. You're the, you're the, ooh, you're the, uh, mastermind. No, you're the leading man. You're Sochi's guy. Here you go. Jenna, you're the showgirl. And I'll be the femme fatale. Okay, Jenna, come with me. You've got a great brain. I'd like to pick it. Now we know who our characters are. Let's talk about where we're going to be. Mm, where are we? I say that we are in the golden era of filmmaking itself, an MGM musical. The showstoppers.
chance to be of service to this young lady, see her grow, see her tackle some things uh, that she wasn't sure. Um, that is incredibly rewarding. So for me and this entire cast, it's, it's way more than just this. Yeah. How was that? It was so good. I loved it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it is 120 in the morning, which is crazy. We didn't film after the show. Well, a little bit. A little, but why didn't we film right after the show? And you maybe just saw the show end and now now we're back at home. We're back at home. Here's the update. We went and walked around the building until we found a bunch of people uh, standing by the tour buses at the Dancing with the Stars live show. Yeah. We've seen on TikTok that you can like kind of wait in certain areas and sometimes um, the pros and you know, everyone comes out and sometimes like people come out, sometimes they don't. It's kind of like hit yeah, or miss. Yeah, one or two come out. Sometimes they all come out and just go, kind of hey, wave. like nice to see you get like, uh, yeah, like and, and they get on the of, bus. Well, Cause like obviously they're busy and they're going around different mm -hmm. areas. But we were like, we're already here. We might as well wait and kind of see. And guys, it was so amazing. This is like one of the highlights of my whole life. We kind of got to go in order. First of all, the okay. show was incredible. Yeah, we loved the amazing. show. Our seats were were good, except the only thing with like this venue versus the one last year was that the one last year had big screens where you could see if you were farther back. Yeah, for because us. it was like a very big venue, I think. Yeah, we were up in like the, the balcony, so hopefully all of the footage that we did put in was, was okay. good footage and was okay. We tried our best, but again, we we were like not super close so it's no. a bit harder but like they were good seats i because loved the we actual right in the seat middle. the balcony was perfect and you they could were see comfy. everything which was good except just maybe not as, as like clear. zoomed in and clear but the show was awesome there mm -hmm. were so many numbers that we loved i think that we loved like the last number a lot yeah and then a few kind of sprinkled in i loved like when jenna danced with all the boys yes val and sochi had good ones val and yeah, jenna riley and alan like it was really good at our um at our stop, oh, yeah, like, we should have said this. Yeah, at our stop, uh, Sochi was there as well as Val and Jenna. Um, because like every single stop kind of has like different like celebrities and different yeah. people. Like, so, and then for people who excited. don't know, Sochi's one of the celebrity people the one who uh, from the show, yes, who won. <laughs> and she's in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, yeah, so which cool. is cool. And then Val and Jenna are like pros on the show yeah. but they don't go to every stop, only like this first little leg of the mm -hmm. tour, with, which was exciting. Sochi. But that being said, we are standing out there waiting, and then people are screaming, and the first person to come out was who? Well, it was Daniela first. Oh, yes. D yes. Yeah, sorry. No Daniela mind. was out there. She wasn't in the show because she's been, like, injured, I think, and coming back. And she's one of the pros. Yes. So she, like, she was there already when we came, but, yeah, like, I was. didn't even know she was there, Me and then I was like, it's literally Daniela. She's right there. So we had kind of seen her in the distance. We didn't get to talk with her. But then, who was the first person that came out? It was Sochi. Oh yeah, it was Sochi. And her mom. And her mom. And her I want to preface so this cute. by saying our phones are both going to die. Mine was my, at like 10%. My phone during the show kept saying full of storage. Oh my gosh. No room to record. It was and so then we're stressful. like, if we go out and meet these people or try to meet these we people. We need a photo. We at need least. our phones to work for a photo. Sochi was the first one to come up. She and we're just going to so randomly put in little clips or pictures clips. here of stuff. But she was so, so nice. So kind. All, all the people were They kind. were all so good. She, though, took, took the time, time with, with literally every, every person. person. Yeah. 
autograph. If you wanted her to FaceTime somebody, make take a, a video, video for you. you, she did everything. And she like would look up in the area, like she would kind of do area by area and look up and be like, anyone else? No, okay, next area. Like she was so kind. Yeah. So we got to chat with her. And like you said, all of them were so kind. Like oh, yeah, seriously, which we'll get to all of them. But yeah. Soji was fun. She talked with you like yeah. mostly. And then I came in and, and she stood it. on her tiptoes. Yeah, she was like, oh, you guys and are so tall. And we took a picture together. Like, to be told. She was so cute. Which was fun. And then after that, I think it was... Pasha came out. Yeah, one of the Pasha pros, was going around. Like, yeah, I got a picture with Pasha. He was super quick. He, he was, was fast, like, he was efficient. on a mission. But yeah, I got a picture with him. He was super, super nice. So yeah, so sweet. And then it was, I think, Riley and Alexis came out next. Yes. And Riley was Harry Jowsey's partner. Yes. And I like Riley. And she's she's like my a, favorite. She's a new pro on this, like, Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Um, yeah, she was so sweet. And she's she, a vibe. She is, like, like just like she is in her videos and on the show, mm -hmm. like, she was laughing and, like, cracking up. And like, she was making so jokes cute. about, like, this is the best pen I've ever held. Or that yeah. she loves Coffee Crisp. She, she was, was like, so I love funny. Canada. It's so good. Like, yeah. it was very fun. And she was wearing sandals. Like, Literal her, open toes. Yeah, sandals. with her feet out. And it was cold. Um, we were freezing. And she said she got like a spray tan, so she couldn't wear her. Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't wear her shoes. So everyone was laughing. Yeah, like all of them made comments how I was very tall. That yeah, she was, was like, You're so tall. Then, because her partner's tall. Harry's, yeah, tall, Harry's tall. But I'm taller than him. But yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And then it kind of trickled in where it was like Brandon came out, who was nice, who I have the same name well, as. So that was fun. And it's because like a bunch of them started coming. There so was it was a bit hard. So like we didn't talk, we didn't get to talk with Alexis because like she was coming through while Riley was coming through. And then we saw Brandon. Yeah. And we talked with him and we were like, same We have the same name. I was like, yeah, you jinxed yeah, him about it. Yeah, we so both that was said cool. good name. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, it is good name. Um, and then more people started coming out. Your favorites came yeah, out. Yeah, okay, my favorites came out. So Val and Alan, and it was like crazy because at the time there was lots like, going on. Val was coming out, Gleb was coming out, Alan was coming out, Britt was there. Yeah. Like they were all around, and I'm like, I can't miss my opportunity with like all these people. So, so you I got think Britt. I got Britt first, and yeah. she is so sweet. Like I chatted with her. Um, got a picture with her, so sweet. And then Val came and I'm like, I need my moment. I need my moment. And Val also won with Sochi. Yes. And you love Val. I love Val. We got to talk with Val. And then we were like talking with Val. And then I'm like, okay, like Brandon, come in the picture. And I'm like, we need to take a selfie. Cause we were like, like Val was taking selfies with people. So I'm like, can we please take a selfie? He's like, yeah, yeah, we got this. And also he was so nice. He, he was, was like, so nice. like he asked my name and like, like shook yeah. my hand and said like, it's honestly such a pleasure to meet you. Like so I love nice. the height. And I was like, I love your talent. You're like a super good dancer. What do you mean the height? <laughs> yeah. The dancing's crazy. And then as we were taking a selfie, Alan was like walking by and then he said something about your height too. He said, something. geez, wow. <laughs> and then I looked at him and then, and then I was like, Alan, he went like this. So he said, oh, sorry. And, and I said, Alan, get on the phone. I'm like, and he's like, no, no, it's okay. I'm like, no, please. Like, we literally want you in the photo. So then he came in. And, and then, then I turned and he was like six foot ten or something. And I said, it, literally, yeah. exactly, Alan. So we got a photo, like a selfie with Alan and Val, which is like so, so fun. Good. And then Emma was last one. And then but then Emma, I was like, we got to wrap up. But they, they were wrapping go. up. So they were like really, really quickly. And people started going. But we still got pictures with Emma and got to chat with her. But because they're leaving tonight to go to, go to their next place in somewhere. America somewhere. Yeah. So honestly, we were out there for two hours yeah. and it's like winter. It's not like super, super cold, but, no, but it got pretty it got cold. cool. Um, Our phones lasted, mine didn't, mine died, but Brandon's lasted for photos. Mm -hmm. We unfortunately couldn't take like as many videos, but we took a little bit. So you'll see yeah. kind of what we did, but it was just like, amazing it was a really good experience and i highly like recommend if you're watching this and you're going to one of the shows yeah to try to find if there's uh, an option where there maybe you're leaving and taking the bus like i just think that it was so nice and they were so kind to everybody very, and i thought that it was nice. just like they were so thankful that people like were waiting out there for them yeah. and i just thought it was so cool honestly it was so cool it's like a thing that i'll remember forever like honestly and i'm just so it great. was a really good day we had a great day yeah. and hopefully you all enjoyed coming along with us this has now become like a two-year tradition doing this we have to do it again next tour, year <laughs> and it's got to be next year again so again there's two canadian stops and we got to go to this one last year we did the first one it's yeah. like yesterday would have been the first stop this time was the second one mm -hmm. but yeah we've done both um and it was like so good we yeah. love the show so much so thanks for a fun time Heidi. hopefully yeah. that was so good for you yeah it was so fun it was amazing so with all that being said if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you're new to our channel consider subscribing for disney content and kind of random vlogs here and there if you enjoyed this one and ring that bell so you never ever miss any new videos from us and let us know down below in the comments if you watch dancing with the stars oh yeah true We'd love to know and who do you like yeah and remember it's always sunny. <laughs>